In this video, we're going to say y is equal to the tangent of 3x plus the sine of 5x. And <clears throat> we want to find dy dx. So, okay, we treat this as a composition once again. The outer function is the tangent. So, f of x equals the tangent of x. The inner function <coughs> is 3x plus the sine of 5x. Now, the derivative of 3x is easy. That's just 3. But notice that this is not just the sine of x, this is the sine of 5x. So when I differentiate this, I'm going to have to apply the chain rule again. So I have to know the outer and the inner. So I've already used f. So let's just pick another letter, I guess. We're going to let the outer function be the sine. We'll call that, <clears throat> I, I hope this notation isn't harmful, f, f of x equals the sine of x. So two f's for this because I used f for the outer function here. And the inner function is gg which is 5x. So okay, the chain rule would look like this. Uh, it would become f prime <coughs> of g of x times g prime of x. So let's start with that. Okay, what's the derivative of tangent? It's secant squared. So it's not just secant squared of x though. It's secant squared of the function within, which is 3x plus sine of 5x times the derivative of g. Well, again, the derivative of 3x is fairly easy. It's simple. It's just 3. Plus, well, now we have to use the chain rule here. So the chain rule here would say, let's use a new color, f, f prime of g, g of x times g, g prime of x. And so that's going to end up being, okay, what's the derivative of sine? It's the cosine, but not of x, of what's inside, which is 5x, times the derivative of the inside, which is 5x, so that's times 5. And now we can finalize this. We're going to say this is the secant squared of 3x, plus the sine <coughs> of 5x times 3 plus 5 times the cosine of 5x. And there we go. That is, oops, that is the instantaneous rate of change of the function. All right, let's move on to the last problem.